Um, so just off the back of what it is that you were just saying, where does the name Yahshua come from? Yeah, that's an excellent question because you see, it's all about the language. This is why we keep talking about, when we say we've got our own language, yeah, yeah. it's so important because the root language is where all languages come from. Mm. So when you learn Misbatia, or you know, many people know it as Nuwapik, um, Sabaic, um, you learn all the languages at once. So when we say the master teacher speaks many languages, if people just like use their mind, they'll be able to say, okay, if you learn the root of where everything comes from, you can see how they all tie in. Mm. And so when you're saying, what does the word Yahshua come from? Again, that's going back to the Hebrew. Mm. And, and you're saying Yah, and in Semitic languages, they will, most will translate that as, oh, Yah. Like ya, like we say ya nur or ya nun, you're saying oh light, because the word ya is oh, yeah. Um, shua, ya shua, the word shua means savior. So that's what I'm saying. So even though people go ya shua, you say, okay, what does it mean? It means ya shua, oh savior, because he was meant to be a savior. But then the trick then is if he was meant to be a savior, what did he save? Because in ancient times, your name is a title mm. to describe you or what you're doing. You see what I mean? So if you're called Yahshua or the Savior, and then the question is, what did he save? A lot of people in Christianity can't answer that because he couldn't save himself because he was crucified or murdered and killed on the cross. So he came to save us but then he got murdered by what? Men. But you're meant to be the son of God. How can pure or just simple mortal men kill God? Because if you're the son of God, you are God. Because if you're from water, you're water, right? So Yahshua means savior mm -hmm. from the Hebrew. But if you go to other languages, um, they will have different names or different titles. Like another one they use is Christ. Because they say Jesus Christ. Christ. You say, okay, what does Christ mean? What does Christ they don't know. Yeah, it's like the word Christ actually originates from, from Krishna, mm. yeah, and Christos, and became Christ. That's Greek, yeah, when you say Christos, yeah. And Christ means anointed. Mm. Then, then this is what you say, okay, then what does it mean to be anointed? See, everything you ask a question of leads to another question yeah. because it's like, okay, what does it mean to be anointed? To be anointed means you went through a ritual and you were given certain gifts or certain powers mm. to now be able to do certain things. So they're saying he was anointed by God or, you know, through the ritual of baptism, yeah, with John the Baptist who baptized him in the, in the river of Jordan, right? He baptized him. So now he was anointed to go out and do the works of healing other people, healing people, anointing other people, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like you're being, and the ritual actually comes from ancient Egypt. Even the word Christ comes from the word karast. Because as I said, when you go back to the root, you always find out, okay, this is, oh, it was in Egypt called karast, which became Christ. But then depending on which angle you're coming from, because remember, there are different races on the planet. Mm. So if you were like going through the Hindu, coming from a Hindu perspective, they will say Krishna. You see, oh, Hari, Hari Krishna. The word Hari, H-A-R-E, mm. you can see the word Har, H-A-R, which goes back to Haru in ancient Egypt. So you can always tie everything they teach you or say in the monotheistic religions back to Egypt. But what they've done is they've taken it and perverted it, changed it into something else or back to front. So then you're confused or you're bound by the spell. Yeah. So the word Yeshua really means savior or oh, savior or oh, oh, save. But like I said, it's a contradiction if he didn't save anyone. Mm -hmm. But people say he came to save the world or remove sin from the world. But people are still sinning. Yeah. So the world is still full of sin. So what was the purpose of coming to be a saviour, but didn't save himself, and the world is still suffering with this character called the devil, 
or Satan that they claim is responsible for all the, the wickedness on the planet. Mm. That will raise another question. Who created him? Who gave him his power? The anointed cherub. That's what they refer to him as. So he's anointed as well. Mm. And he's anointed to do what? Evil. So you have to ask, who anointed him? And if you say he was created by God, then God created him. And you see, and we can keep going because these gods that we're talking about are not what your concept or what you think a, a loving, caring God is. Mm. You see? Yeah, so I hope that answered that question. Definitely.